I've been building models now for a little over 50 years. I started with the old Aurora Batmobile um, that I got in the mail using a coupon from a package of gaucho peanut butter cookies and 50 cents. And from there I went on to build the Aurora Sea View from the TV show Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Like so many modelers my age and older, uh, everyone pretty much started with the old Aurora kits, uh, especially the monster models of the early 60s. Uh, they were some really great kits. There aren't as many kids today building models. There are some, but there's a lot of adults. And a lot of adults today are getting back into the hobby after so many years of, of being absent. With the variety of kits available today, um, it's really a remarkable hobby. I'd have to say it's, it's one of the most rewarding of hobbies. You know, when you can sit there and take a bunch of little pieces of plastic and assemble them into a, a finished piece, and you, you really have a sense of accomplishment. Something that you've built with your own two hands uh, there's nothing quite like it. Um, it. It's really, it's not only rewarding, but it's really quite relaxing. Some people may find it nerve-wracking, or they think it's nerve-wracking when they take a look at the, the intricacies involved, but in actuality, it's relaxing simply because the entire time you are working on a model, that's all you're really thinking about. You're not concentrating, you're not thinking about you know, all the day-to-day -day, uh, troubles and your problems because when you're sitting there and you're working on a model kit, that's all you're focused on. That's what makes it so relaxing. I'm not gonna say it's not tedious. Uh, a lot of kits today are tedious, but the newer kits today are better engineered so even for beginners, there's, there's really no reason why anybody can't make an attempt at building a model kit. Back when I was growing up, you didn't have the resources that you have today. You didn't have the internet. So consequently, you didn't have YouTube, you didn't have Facebook. If you didn't know anyone else in the hobby who had more experience than you, then you were pretty much on your own and you had to learn by doing, you had to learn from others. Uh, if there were other, other guys around who, who had any amount of experience, you could, you could learn a trick or two from them. Today you've got YouTube, you've got kit reviews, uh, there's clubs, there's uh, IPMS, which stands for the International Plastic Modeler Society. There are different magazines available, and with, with all the camaraderie, you just can't really beat it. There are shows, there are conventions, and there are model contests. It's not all about winning an award as much as, as it is just seeing uh, all the various models that are in the contest because you can gain a lot of valuable insight. You can uh, get ideas. If there's a particular modeling subject that you want to tackle and you want to build a diorama, that's really the place to, to get up close and really look at these things and see what other guys are doing. And that's really exciting. really encourage anyone who has any interest in working with their hands, you know, building anything, to at least give it a try. Odds are your very first model may not turn out 
the way you want it to. But that's how you learn, and that's how you advance through the hobby. So even if your first effort doesn't turn out, don't be discouraged by that. Use the knowledge that you gained through any mistakes that you may have made and build on that, grow with that, learn from it. Building one model isn't gonna do it. You know, my first efforts when I was a kid were, were really kind of a joke, you know? I mean, they, they weren't the greatest in the world. It took me many years to finally bring my skill set up to where it is today. With all the resources at your fingertips today, there's no reason why anyone, young or old, can't get into this hobby and at least give it a shot. Because I think you would find it very rewarding. I think anybody who uh, likes to work with their hands and build things will find this to be a very, very rewarding hobby to get into. Because I know I have. Mm -hmm.